Today I'm going to show you how to take an outside number going to a specific extension and point it to another extension. And we do this, if, for, for example, if someone has left the company and they have their own direct dial number, we can take, once they've left the company, we don't want that number to go to that person's voicemail, the person that has left the company. So what we do is we can take that number and direct it to go to someone who's still at the company and will be able to handle those calls appropriately. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find incoming call route on our IP office uh, configuration tree. So I'm gonna go down until I see incoming call route and I'm gonna left click on it one time. Once I do that, you'll see all the incoming call routes up here, here in the middle of the screen. And then if I click on any of them, that incoming call routes information is displayed on the right hand side. So if you notice, you'll see that each number is only routed by the last four digits of the number. So for this case, it would be 847424 and then the last four digits, 1500, is what you would put into the incoming number. And as I look, I can see 1500 goes to extension 205. 1502 goes to 203, and 1501 goes to extension 290. So what I'm going to work with today is this incoming number 1500. Again, that's 847-424-1500. So on the right-hand side here, you'll see the incoming number again is here. And what, hap what, what I'm going to deal with here is I'm going to have it change from extension 205 to a new extension. So for example, if 205 has less, left the company, we don't want this number to just go to his voicemail. We want it to go to a new person. So we're going to click on destination on, on, the des on the tab up here. Click on destinations once. And you'll notice that it says destination. And the destination right now is going to extension 205. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go to a different extension. I'm going to use the drop down button here. And I'm going to find a different user to have all these, have this direct dial number go to. Now, most companies like to have it go to the reception because if you have this number and we don't have a new person at the company that is going to be sitting at the desk and taking this number, then all the calls that come into this 1500 number will go to the receptionist and then she can handle the call. But if you have hired someone new, or you know someone who could handle these this calls, then you'll just choose whatever user you want, click on them once, and then press OK at the bottom of the screen. Now we're going to save it and make it live in the system. And to do that, you either go to the blue disk at the upper left-hand corner, or go to File, Save Configuration. Once you do that, and the and it is live in the system, when anyone calls that phone number, 847-424-1500, it will now go to extension 207. And that is how you change an incoming call route in the manager program.